Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a composite variable using SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And I have a variable named anxiety, another one named substance use, and a third variable named depression. And let's assume that we are conducting research at an agency and participants that come into this agency would be expected to have anxiety substance use problems and symptoms of depression. So we provide assessments, psychometric instruments that cover all three of these constructs and we convert them to t-scores. A t-score is a standard score with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. And let's assume for this example that we are dealing with the severity of symptoms, so a higher score on the anxiety variable or the substance use variable or the depression variable represents a more severe presentation of that corresponding set of symptoms. So in an instance like this where we're measuring all three of these constructs, we may want to create a composite variable that gives us a type of summary of these three variables. One score that we can look at that gives us an idea how a participant is doing in terms of these three symptoms. And I'm going to look at this in two different ways. Uh, one composite variable I'll create will have an equal weighting of the anxiety score, the substance use score, and the depression score. And I'll also show you how to create a weighted composite variable. So let's start with one where each variable has an equal contribution to the new score, this composite score. So I'm going to go here to transform up top, then compute variable. And in this compute variable dialog, I'm going to name the target variable. So this is going to create a new variable with this name. In this case, I'm going to use the name composite. And then we have the numeric expression. So I'm going to start with an open parenthesis and move over the anxiety variable. Then I'm going to add the substance use variable and then add the depression variable and close parentheses. And because in this first example I want an equal weighting and I see there are three variables, it's going to be forward slash or divided by the value three. So anxiety plus substance use plus depression divided by three and then I'll click OK. And we have here a composite variable and this represents equal weighting between anxiety, substance use, and depression. So maybe in a particular application we want this composite variable to be more influenced by one of these variables than the others. And let's just say for example we have a situation where we want anxiety to represent half the composite score and substance use and depression each to represent a quarter. So to create a composite variable with this weighting, with anxiety weighted at 50%, substance use weighted at 25%, and depression weighted at 25%, we'll go to Transform, Compute Variable. Here under Target Variable, I'm just going to change the original name, Composite, to Composite 2. Composite 2. And under the numeric expression, I'm going to delete the forward slash and the three. So I'm going to start with just anxiety plus substance use plus depression. And to create this weighting, I'm going to use what are referred to as coefficients. So for anxiety, I want to multiply by the value 0.5. So I want a coefficient of 0.5. So to multiply by 0.5, it's going to be asterisk, and then the value 0.5. And then I'm going to close parentheses here. And I'm going to do the same thing for substance use and depression. 
except instead of a coefficient of 0.5, it's going to be a coefficient of 0.25. So asterisk 0.25, substance use times 0.25. And of course the same thing for depression. So we have anxiety times 0.5, substance use times 0.25, and depression times 0.25. I click OK. And we'll look at this new variable, composite2. And this variable takes into account the anxiety variable more substantially than it does substance use and depression. So the anxiety variable is having more of an effect on this composite variable score. Anxiety represents 50% of the composite variable score. Substance use and depression each just represent 25% of this new composite 2 variable. Now that's just a, an example I'm using with this particular weighting. You can weight these variables in many different ways, but remember that what you want for the coefficients is that they equal 1 when added together. So like in this example here, 0.5 plus 0.25 plus 0.25 equals 1. You want to make sure that the coefficients add up to 1. I hope you found this video on creating a composite variable in SPSS to be useful, and thanks for watching.